All right, good morning, YouTube. Uh, I thought today I would do a video on how we are working on conserving water. We live in the state of California and we are in the middle of a drought where we haven't received enough rain or snow this winter to help us uh, survive the hot months that are coming. So all residents of California are being asked to conserve water. Normally we conserve water, it's just how we do things around here. Droughts are not unique to California, but I thought today I'd make a video about a few of the things that we do around here uh, to save on water. If you have suggestions after you watch this video, please put them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. I'm out of coffee. Let's get more coffee first. All right, so it's time to shower. We don't want to let the water run down the drain while it's heating up. We want to capture that water. So I have my jug here. I'm going to fill it up just until the water is warm enough. Then I'll turn the water off, get myself all ready, turn the water back on, and hop in. for me to get in. Another way you can save water is to turn the water off while you're brushing your teeth. I'm going to brush my teeth for two minutes. That's what we're supposed to do, 30 seconds in each spot. I'm going to have the water off while I'm brushing. That's what we should be doing. Turn the water off. sink a little bit. All right, check out my lipstick. Now that my teeth are brushed, I can put on my lipstick. This thing is heavy. All right, so we've covered how to shower and save water. We've covered how to brush your teeth and save water. The last thing in the bathroom I want to talk about is the toilet. So because California is a drought state, happens regularly, we're in the habit of not flushing it every time we use it. So sometimes you know you need to flush it, please flush it. But we've got five people living in this house and if we're just peeing, sometimes we don't flush it. Somebody else is bound to come along right behind us and they're gonna pee too. We let them flush it. Maybe that's gross, maybe that's TMI, but we're trying to conserve. All right, we're back in the kitchen again, uh, thinking about ways to conserve water. I've got some kale I gotta wash up. I've got some basil I gotta wash up. I'm gonna make some pesto tomorrow. So I thought I would show you how I save water here in the kitchen. Come on. So again, being in California, dealing with a drought, I'm gonna rinse my kale. And then when I drain it, instead of letting that water go straight down the drain, I'm gonna save it. And I'll use it to water later. So I'm going to give this kale uh, another rinse 
I suddenly have aphids. We usually turn our kale into kale chips. That's how my kids like it. If you've never made kale chips, I highly recommend that you give it a shot. You just break the pieces of kale into small bits. Put it on a roasting pan with a little olive oil and some salt. My kids will not tolerate pepper. And then you roast it in the oven at 400 for 7 to 12 minutes, kind of depending on how big your pieces are, how wet they are, uh, and how dark and crispy you want them. All right, so let me get my salad spinner out. So I'm not actually going to bother making any kale chips today. There are no children here right now to enjoy them. But I will save this water. Again, always looking for places where we can save our water. The state of California is at about 50% of where we're supposed to be for water this year or less than 50% rainfall for the year. So uh, we need all the water we can get. And uh, I still need to wash these veggies though because, you know, bugs, gross. All right, so I'm gonna spin out my kale and then put it in a container. If you don't have one of these salad spinners, if you're washing a lot of lettuce or kale, brassicas, these salad spinners make life so much easier. They just pull all the water uh, from the leaves. All right. So I'm just going to save my kale because we're not ready to cook it today. And there's a little tiny bit of water in here, so I'm going to save that. Basil. So I'm going to rinse my basil and same thing, going to save, you can see my basil. I'm going to make pesto, but not today. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a gentle rinse. It can bruise really easy, so I want to be kind of careful with it. Let that fill up. Even though this year we're in a drought and there's a real uh, mindfulness, so to speak, about conserving water, these are practices we use all the time. Even when we're not in a drought, we conserve water here. No desire to, to spend money uh, needlessly. So, And we don't want to use up the resources that we don't actually need to. So every time we're rinsing stuff, we're going to save that water. And I can use it to rinse a dish before it goes in the dishwasher because, yeah, I kind of wash my dishes before they go in the dishwasher sometimes. Uh, or I can use the water again outside in the garden. And because it's a drought year, the water, the garden is not getting any rain. So it needs the water from us. Okay, spinning out this uh, basil and then we'll be done. And I'll show you, I, I've saved about, oh, at least a gallon of water uh, from rinsing out these veggies. I'm going to have at least a gallon of water to take out to my garden. Let me find a container for this. Basil to go into. I'm sorry. I have to smell the basil every time because it just smells so good. And uh, I'll make pesto maybe tomorrow. Okay. 
Again, a little bit of water left in here, so I'll save that. And let me show you guys how much water I've got saved up from this. So you can see I've got two. So we always keep at least one in the kitchen. One of these is usually in the bathroom for showering. And then I just take them out to the garden every day. I have a bucket out there. I just pour it into the bucket if I'm not ready to water. I think that's it for this room, but why don't we peek out the window and see what the neighbor's been up to? All right, what you're looking at is a rain catch system that my neighbor has set up. So when it rains, the water lands on the roof. Let's see if I can get it, there you go. Lands on the roof, goes into the gutter, goes down the downspout, and goes into the rain barrel. He uses that uh, to water his garden. He's got several of them set up around the side of his house. We don't have anything like that yet. That is one of our goals here. Uh, we do have a couple of buckets set out strategically to catch rain water where it pools uh, from our canopy that we have set up outside. But our goal at some point is to get these rain catch systems like our neighbor has. All right, so I'm outside now. So again, like I was saying, we don't have a rain catch system set up yet. So what we use are buckets. We've got a bunch of buckets that we set out uh, around the edges of the house to catch the rainwater. We also set it out uh, around our gazebo because the water comes right in the center here. It pulls and comes straight down. And so we set up buckets here, I set up buckets here, uh, whenever it's gonna rain so I can catch the water and then I use that water to water the garden once it dries up. Here I am in the kids' bathroom. I wanted to show you their bucket. They are also saving water when they shower. They also turn the water off when they brush their teeth. By default, they would never think to leave the water on. They've been uh, trained, so to speak, since they were babies that we turn the water off. We never let the water run. When we wash hands, we usually turn the water off as well, unless we're trying to get it warm and then we catch it with a bucket. Another way to conserve water is to avoid watering your garden in the heat of the day. Whenever possible, water early in the morning or late in the evening. So I hope this video has been helpful. I hope that you are thinking about ways you can conserve. If you've got some tips you'd like to share, please feel free to drop them below in the comments. I, I know some folks will take a shower and they will turn the water off while they soap up. I'm not that extreme. Maybe I'll get there, uh, but I do like the hot water. Uh, we're At this point, we're starting to set timers to help us take short showers because the kids and I all like to take a 20 minute shower. And with the drought, you really can't do that. All right, so uh, we will see you on the next one. Take care.